Puma. What are you guys doing? Best they could do is a white t-shirt that you could get from Walmart. Tom Brady, Wayne Gretzky, and Pete Davidson. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome to Big League Chew. I'm Kyle, here with my guy Jesse, and on this week's episode, Alex Pereira is the new UFC middleweight champion. What's a fight? And Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson are now selling ear edibles? And in our Hot or Not segment, we're talking World Cup kits. Which kits are fire and which kits are... <sighs> But first, Jesse, we got to talk about Pete Davidson. Apparently, he's with supermodel Emily Ratajkowski, A-list celebrity. How does this keep happening? You know, Kyle, I, I can't really answer that question. But what I can tell you is sometimes it's important to take a step back and recognize the greatest of all time. We're talking Michael Jordan, Tom Brady, Wayne Gretzky, and Pete Davidson. This Saturday, Alex Pereira defeated Israel Adesanya again to become the new UFC middleweight champion. Jesse, you are a huge UFC fan. What was going through your head when this happened? Kyle, I was going nuts. I, I was kind of torn on how I felt about it because UFC fans love Israel Adesanya and rightfully so. He's arguably the most technical fighter that has ever stepped foot in the octagon. But at the same time, he was champion for over three years and the division was getting a little bit stale and Alex Pereira just revived it. I'm sure these guys are gonna go at it once again, but Pereira's won three times now. I'm sure this middleweight division is about to get a lot more interesting. Images of Giselle were released. Tom Brady's ex-wife with this guy, Joaquin Valente. Jesse, is everybody winning here? Kyle, I think everyone can be winning here. She's apparently with her jujitsu coach. And, you know, they can make some money here. Tom Brady versus him in a little UFC match. Winner fights Alex Pereira for the belt, maybe. And everyone wants to talk about if Giselle is dating too soon. Honestly, I couldn't care less about any of that stuff. But the real stat is that Tom Brady is 2-0 with the Bucks. He might be going on a little revenge tour here. The Bucks are only 5-5, five and five, but they're at the top of the NFC South. And it's Tom Brady, so we're probably going to be seeing him in the Super Bowl. Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield have teamed up to make ear edibles. Now, Jesse... Would you try these? Because this has Mike Tyson written all over it. Yeah, I, I love Mike Tyson. I love this idea. They took one of the most infamous moments in boxing history and are trying to make some money off of it. And I'm here for it. What is this? I got you your ear. No, it's not. This ain't my ear. Yes, it is. Cherry pie punch feeling. My ears don't taste like cherry pie. Yes, they do. And knowing what we know about Mike Tyson, something tells me these are incredibly strong. They're gonna put you to sleep like a Mike Tyson right hook. So I would try these, but for my first time, I don't need the whole ear, maybe just a lobe. Let's dive into our Hot or Not segment. We're talking World Cup kits. First off, I'm starting off with a hot. Argentina's away kit. This is beautiful. I love how it's purple. You got the purple flames coming up from the bottom. Hey, Messi rocking this, you know he's gonna be scoring a lot of goals. Next up, Mexico's away kit. This is by far the best World Cup kit I've ever seen in my life. I love how it's paying homage to the indigenous roots and they have a brand new team logo that symbolizes fresh hope. The design, the detailing, everything about this jersey, I cannot take my eye off it. Now for my knots, definitely USA's team kits away and home jerseys. I mean, come on, they haven't been in the World Cup for eight long years and you're telling me the best they could do is a white t-shirt that you could get from Walmart? and their away kits. This easily looks like a tie-dye shirt you could get at Walmart as well. They just gotta do better. Another knot on my list is Belgium's home kit. This is definitely a knot for me. Yes, I see the fire, I see the red. It does complement really well, but when I see this jersey, it just reminds me of Guy Ferreri's button up top that looks exactly like this too. Kyle, I agree with you with Belgium's home kit, but their away kit, I actually really like. I'll be honest, I don't really want to root for them. I want to wish any team good luck, but they're in the same group as Canada, so I would rock this jersey just after the tournament. This one's hot. But my favorite jersey of the tournament 100% has to be South Korea's away kits. These are beautiful. Normally, I don't like jerseys that got a lot going on, but every World Cup, there's one jersey that everybody will wear, regardless of whether or not they're even from that country. Last time it was Nigeria's kit, this time I think it's South Korea's. This one is hot. And now on to some knots. Look, I think Adidas and Nike have put out some amazing jerseys for the tournament this year, but Puma has not. I, I don't even know what's going on over there. All the jerseys they put out are terrible, especially these ones from Ghana. The only thing saving this jersey are the colors. You can't really mess those up, but besides that, this is a fat knot. And I think by far the worst kit of the tournament has to be this kit from Serbia. I mean, Puma, 
what are you guys doing i don't know who is in charge of this design team i don't know how you guys are getting paid to make jerseys but whoever is in charge of this team they've been eating too many holy ears this jersey is a fat knot let us know what kits you like and don't like for the world cup and if you got a story you want us to talk about drop it in the comments and don't forget to like comment and hit that bell to be notified whenever we post a new video